so hi Flasstube, this is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. It is about 10 o'clock or so on Tuesday, October 3rd, 2017. I'm coming to you with a real quick update. Um, I've been working on my Santa of the Forest by MLI and I've been actually working on the metallic threads for the staff and the little fabric folds that are in the bottom of the pattern. I have a couple of videos because I'm trying something different with the metallic threads on this one and um, I have a couple of short video clips of some updates that I took late last week and over the weekend that I'm going to link or that I'm going to attach to the end of this little short update. Um, first off though, a couple of housekeeping things. I am so amazed you guys so amazed at all the subscribers that I'm getting I don't know if somebody's out there promoting me or if people are just looking for floss tube or somebody's mentioned me if you've mentioned me and I haven't mentioned you back I'm sorry I don't know who you are um excuse me but if somebody could leave a comment below and let me know if you've shouted me out I'll shout you back and uh, give you some stitchy love so <laughs> anyway so you probably noticed a little something different about me you've noticed you probably noticed my hair color um, my previous videos have been filmed or recorded rather before I had a chance to redo my hair color this is the hair color that I like um, it is a brand called Arctic Fox and you can find it um, probably online. I know you can get it at Hot Topic, but it's kind of more expensive at Hot Topic than where I get it. Um, I hope this doesn't offend anybody, but the funny thing is, um, the cheapest place I have found to get it here in Columbus is near downtown in the short north. There's this store <laughs> or retail establishment, I guess you would call it, um, called the garden and if none of you in Columbus are familiar with the short north and what the garden is um, imagine a retail establishment where they sell clothing that strippers would wear like you know lingerie and leg warmers and bondage gear <laughs> and all kinds of stuff like that yes I, 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 I know that some of you probably are like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I don't believe she's saying that. But it is the cheapest place in town to get the hair color. Um, the Arctic Fox brand is really great. I, up until this time, I've had my hair about this color for about a year. And when it grows out, it looks like it does when in my previous videos. Um, most of the stuff near the roots is my natural color, which is a dirty blonde turning gray. Um, when I was growing up, I used to be a towhead blonde, but I can also attach a couple of pictures that I took on Sunday night when my husband and I redid, redid my hair. We actually lightened my hair for the first time since I've started dyeing my hair purple. And it turned more or less towhead blonde again. I haven't been that blonde in forever with a little touch of green. Now, if any of you know some really blonde people or some kids who have really blonde hair, in the summertime, if they ever take swimming lessons at a public pool, you know that blonde hair, blonde haired kids or blonde haired people in general, their hair can turn green due to the chlorine in the water. My hair almost every summer growing up was green. And I'm not talking like, you know, kind of a pale green. I'm talking kind of like a bright lime fluorescent green. It was kind of gross. It was like, yeah, it was just really gross. So anyway, when my husband and I lightened my hair on Sunday night before I dyed it again, um, my hair had a touch, a touch of green in it. <laughs> and my husband was like, heck no, you are not having green hair. I was like, okay, I, I, I guess, because I really like the purple. And the purple this time is a lot more vibrant than um, uh, recently in the past. Because recently in the past, all I did was just put it on my natural hair color 
and just let it go and it tends to be a few shades darker and not quite so bright but I really like the purple um, the purple is here to stay I've been purple for a year I really like it um, I don't know if I'll change it up I work at a big bank and uh, <laughs> thankfully I've since I've had my hair this color for about a year work has not said a thing to me about my hair color which is kind of a good thing because I don't really see the public. I work in the back office and, you know, we do audits of, you know, credit bureau disputes. And, well, you know, I don't really see the public much. So the only people I see on, on a day-to-day -day basis are my coworkers. And they're all a little jealous because I had the guts to do this. But, yeah, so my hair is purple. And if, uh, if this gets uploaded tonight before Bluebird Stitches has a chance to see me on Wednesday... Yes, I'll be at the Stitch In group on Wednesday. Um, <laughs> I hope this is. The, I hope this. You won't be nearly as surprised when I show up with my bright purple hair at the Stitch group on Wednesday night. Anyway, um, I'm gonna be recording a short little update on the um, metallic part of the um, Santa the Forest, and once I get that uploaded and get these videos smashed together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post an update. This is likely going to be my last update video for you um, until I'm either on the plane on the way to California on Friday or in California next week. My husband and I are flying to California to visit my family, my mom and stepdad, who still live out there. Um, they live in Norwalk, California, so that's where we're going to be. Um, hi, everybody out out in California. I might see you, might not, might see each other in passing and not realize it. But um, anyway, we're spending a week out there. Um, I was out there last year for four weeks on a working trip. Work let me work remotely using my work laptop out there last year for four weeks. And uh, this week is just vacation, which is kind of good because we have a few places that we want to go. We want to go eat at Shakey's, mm, Shakey's Pizza bunch of lunch <gasps> mojo potatoes um we're gonna go to a daiso store which if you don't know what that is a daiso store is a japanese dollar store i'm really excited for that because um i get jealous of all these people doing their daiso videos and uh i really want to go to a japanese daiso store and there's like three of them near my parents house so we're, we're gonna go there um there's a chance we may go to downtown Disney. There's a chance we may get into Disney one afternoon. Um, the lady that helps my mom out works there and can sign us in. So there's a chance we may go there. We may decide to go to Not Scary Farm and try and see Elvira. We don't know yet. Um, our plans are kind of in the air right now. I'm getting together with a really good grade school friend of mine that I haven't seen probably since we were in junior high. Um, we've been reconnecting on Facebook and you know she's excited about my trip and my best friend from high school um, my husband really wants to get together with her again and have have lunch or have dinner or get coffee or go do something together so we can all talk again um, he really likes her and you know it's a lot of fun so anyway hopefully I'll get I'll have a nice trip um, it's gonna be kind of hectic getting there um, getting to that point um, <laughs> our rides picking us up at 4 a.m. on Friday <sighs> yeah mm, not so thrilled about that but it is what it is but anyway so this is probably my last video until I'm either in California or back home in Ohio a week from Saturday so um, anyway I hope you enjoy the, this little update about my Santa of the Forest metallics um, it's coming along pretty well, um, and I kind of like how I'm doing it. Um, I did, just a heads up, I did swap out the metallics. The pattern originally calls for DMC284Z, and I don't remember if I mentioned this in any of the video clips that I have already uh, recorded for you, but in the past, in some of the news groups that I was reading, Excuse me, DMC 284Z that comes on a spool. I don't have it readily available, otherwise I'd show it to you. Um, there were um, thoughts, I guess, not thoughts, but experiences from people that have used it in the past. I don't think it's 
no longer even being made. I think that it's been discontinued. But I have a spool of that. Um, I, have, I think I have two spools. Maybe I have 283 and 284 or 282. Anyway, but the um, that DMC metallic floss had a tendency to tarnish. And I don't think... I. I had already planned when I first started this project, you know, I got the, t t the DMC floss uh, when I first bought the pattern, but the more, when I started stitching it and I started reading news groups about, you know, news group postings about uh, the DMC floss tarnishing, I had already decided that I was going to swap it out. So I found some other DMC metallic thread um, that comes in a skein as opposed to on a spool and and I was gonna try it out the first one I tried I think was 5282 and I'm doing e3581 or something like that now um, I'll give you a better description of and then I'll, I'll show you what uh, what I'm using in place of the 284z but um, anyway I hope you like it and enjoy and again, um, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you f so much for your comments. I may not always, I may not be able to get back to all my subscribers and every um, everybody that comments in the next couple of days, just because I'll be so busy getting ready. And I still have to pack, which is crazy. I still have to pack, and I'm not going to be home tomorrow night. Much to do it, and I got to get, I got to try and be in bed early on Thursday. I never go to bed before like 11 or midnight. And uh, I'm going to be laying in bed by 9. <laughs> so, yeah. Not looking forward to that. But anyway, so here goes. Um, so this next li these next little bits, some of them were filmed late last week or over this past weekend. And um, the last bit, the more recent bit, showing some of, the, um, some of the progress on the metallics will have been filmed tonight after I'm done with this. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. And I will see you guys soon. Take care. So, hi, Floss Tube. This is Tina Fraser coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. It is Saturday, uh, September 30th at approximately 4.20 in the afternoon. And I'm sitting here working on my Santa of the Forest. As you can see, a little bit of update. I've gotten a lot of the greens down here done. And all I have to do is fill in this little section here with this dark green that's right here. So that's gonna be kind of mindless work. And I've actually started working on the gold part. I'm gonna move you in a little closer. Hopefully you can see it without losing some of the glare. But I've started the gold here. And um, this pattern calls for 284, I believe it's DMC 284Z that comes in a spool. A long time ago, there was some discussion on some um, bulletin boards about 284Z tarnishing after a while. So a lot of people stopped using 284Z in their projects and went to, sorry about that, I found a cat hair, um, and decided to swap out their metallic um, or their projects that called for 284Z to use some other kind of gold um, Plus. So I am actually using DMC 5282, and this is kind of what it looks like. Sorry about the glare. Um, it comes in a skein, and this is gold. It's DMC 5282. Um, this is actually how I store my floss in floss away bags, just in, in case you're curious. And um, so I had been watching Floss Tube, and quite a few people have um, discussed how to use blended threads. There's two rules, two ma main rules of thinking when it comes to stitching blended thread areas. Um, I'm going to try to do this the best I can holding my phone. Um, but anyway, the first rule of thumb is to take, you have your, what, your first color and your second color, and basically you just stitch with the two strands like this, one of each strand. Um, the other one is to take one color and do the half cross stitches on the bottom, one color, and then go over the top with the other color. Um, now this piece in the area that I'm working at right here with the staff, this empty area, this all has gold 
um, the 5282, um, either by itself or blended with one or two other colors. And um, up in here, you see I did this little gold area up here. This is the, um, the two strands right in the middle at the, on the top two rows are just the gold. Actually, it's the top three. So the three strands, or the three stitches right in the middle of the big part are just gold. I've used two strands of the 5282 there. And the other stitches are the gold paired with DMC 434. Now, I decided, um, I originally was going to use one strand of 434 and one strand of the 5282 gold side by side and do like I normally do. You can see here, this is a good example, in this red area right here, you can see there's um, a dark red and then it looks like a blended thread, which it is, and then um, a dark brown. Well, this blended thread, all through this piece, I have used one strand each side by side. So both legs of the stitch have both strands in it. And I really like that. It kind of gives, gives a tweeted look like tweed um, but I have I was originally going to do that same kind of thing up here with the gold let me move my light so you get the glare off of it but I was going to do the same thing with the gold up here with one strand of each side by side however the um, I decided that I was going to try and use the um, the DMC color on the bottom and the gold color on the top. Now you can see here these uh, four stitches on the right hand side. I don't know if I can get this close enough in here so you can see it. It might might go out. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this to focus. So um, to focus in on that but it might focus it might not doesn't look like it's going to be able to focus but anyway so I took the DMC 434 and I did the half crosses and then I did the gold on top now down here where the staff starts you see where the brown is right here this is the DMC 434 and you can see I'm doing the half cross stitches at some point a darker brown comes in to create more of the shading down in here as well. And then all of this will be covered in the gold. So hopefully I'll be able to kind of show what it looks like. But right now I'm just doing the bottom half cross stitches in the DMC color. And then I'm gonna go back over them with the 5282 gold like I did right there. So hopefully we'll be able to see what it looks like. Um, Anyway, I've made a little bit of progress, as you can see. Um, I still have back stitching to go. There's my pattern. I'm not going to show you that. But um, anyway, so that's kind of what I'm doing on this. So hopefully it'll work out. And uh, I'll have a little bit more update to show you later on once I get the gold in this finished. But anyway, this, this empty area is all his staff. is his staff. And it's all... I'm going to use um, 5282 as the top stitches in this whole entire area here. And then these empty stitches here in the red part, those that's going to be just the gold. So I'm just going to do um, regular cross stitches using two strands of the gold in through there. And there's more on the there's more on the other side over this over this way. So But anyway, so I just wanted to get kind of give a heads up on what I'm going to try here. And hopefully um, you can get an idea of what it looks like. All right. So until, until I come back with an update, that's it for now. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, FlossTube. It's me again. Um, this is Tina in Columbus, Ohio. I wanted to give you just a real quick update. I have finished the half cross stitches in the staff on the center of the forest. Um, you can see here that uh, the DMC half cross stitches I have added to the piece. 
and I'm waiting to do the 5282 um, top stitches on top of that and also the empty um, the empty stitches in here will be just 5282 by itself I'll be doing full cross stitches of it but um, anyway I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update so you can kind of see it beforehand and hopefully we'll be able to see the shading of the darker brown and lighter brown um, underneath the um, 5282 but I kind of wanted to show you a real quick update and kind of go from there but anyway that's it and um, I hope to see you in a little bit with some more update <laughs> hi this is Tina again I actually just frogged everything that I did with the gold metallic flash you can see up here um, the gold is gone now um, the more I started stitching with the 5282 using two strands of it um, or basically I was just using one strand folded in half so I could do the loop start method it just wasn't quite working right and I think the coverage was a little too much and then the 5282 tends to fray and there's like some sort of like really thin piece of the thread that isn't metallic and I noticed the metallic was bunching up after a bit and it was getting harder and harder to pull through the through the fiber the fabric so um, I'm gonna try the metallic over one I'm gonna leave the over two half cross stitches in the um, shading colors in there and then just do the metallic part over one which also means that these cross stitches here um, are just going to be over uh, one thread over two for the metallic. Um, I think that's going to make it working with it easier. Um, don't mind this little snippet of. Sorry about that. It's on my frame. Uh, it's just a piece of thread. Sorry about that. But anyway, I'm going to try the over one or the. Uh, one strand of metallic over the top of what I've got here, and hopefully I'll like the coverage on that better. But anyway, that's what I got. Um, I'll be back as soon as I get the metallics redone, um, or at least done a little bit more than it is now. See you on the flip side. Thanks. Well, hi there again, Floss Tube. This is me. Um, it is about 10.20 on um, Tuesday... October 3rd. Um, as you can see, I finished the metallic in the, in the staff on Santa of the Forest. And this is where I have used the, um, tech, the blended thread techniques of using the DMC floss on the under, um, the under half cross stitch and the metallic threads on top. I'm going to try and get a little closer so maybe you can see the darker threads. And maybe you can tell. But, uh, this line, this, this, row, this column right here, this first column up against the red, that is with um, DMC 834, I believe, right underneath that. You might be able to see the dark brown underneath that. Um, but yeah, so you can kind of see the darkness, and it kind of shows up a little bit when you look farther out. But, um, Anyway, I did the, the lower hat, the lower stitches, the lower half of the stitches in the DMC, and then the upper stitch is done in the, um, the metallic floss. Um, so the metallic floss, only the metallic floss, goes in these open squares here. And as you can see, I finished the green, the light green flowers, but th this dark green right here basically carries across to these flowers and fills in this area. So I have some of this dark green to finish up right here. Um, and then I have the metallic threads here. And there's some um, metallic threads over here too. I'm just moving my pattern out of the way. Um, and then I have some back stitching to do here. And also some more back stitching to do here. And a little bit in the rabbit. I think there's some around his nose and maybe his mouth. And then the eye and mouth of the, the, um, the wolf. I think it's a wolf. And I think there's some up in the bear too. But then um, I'm going to roll this down, and once I get the metallics and the green and the back stitching done, um, I'm going to roll this down and eventually start working on the beard. 
but anyway, so that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. Um, if you'll give me just a minute, I'm actually going to switch from my camera back to my computer, um, back to my laptop camera, so you can so I can tell you guys a little bit more about um, the metallic floss that I've used in place of because I made a couple of changes to the one I was originally going to use. So anyway, I will be back momentarily. Talk to you in a bit. <laughs> So I'm back again. Um, I switched back to my laptop computer just so I can show you this a little easier. Um, the metallic threads that I've decided to use on the Santa of the Forest by MLI is um, DMC E3821. DMC E3821. It comes like this. Sorry, my uh, thread's already pulling out here. But it comes like this. Um, in a skein. It has a long clear plastic tube instead of like each of those little pieces it's in a long clear plastic tube. Um, this I, I don't know the exact color of this but it's a very bright gold and this floss I don't know if you can see this but this floss is six stranded um, and the interesting thing is is each one of these six strands separates actually down into two more strands. So technically this is like a 12 strand but I've been using the two strand, the the six. You know, when you break it down into six, I've been using one of those. Um, actually, I've been using two of them because I've been doing it two over two. Um, I originally had tried the DMC 5282. Um, I don't have that with me because I put it away already, and I just didn't, for sake of time, I didn't feel like going going back into my craft room and digging it back out. But I kind of wasn't liking working with the 5282. This, this stuff here, this is one strand of it. This stuff here isn't so bad. If you can see, this stuff here isn't so bad. But um, if you use Thread Heaven or Thread Magic or Beeswax or any of the other products like that that coat your thread, you'll have an easier time using this stuff. And I've also been finding that if I do not pair it with the blended DMC floss, I actually like working with the metallic threads better. Um, I think with blending filament, I might find the same thing too. Like if you have to blend one, one strand of DMC with a strand of blending filament, I'm probably gonna like doing the method that I chose on this piece better than doing them with side by side, doing doing the two strands of DMC, you know, and then the metallic over the top, so you get the effect like that. So you have the two strands of DMC and then the two strands of metallic over the top, making your top leg. Um, I think that that's going to work better and I'm going to like that effect. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of liking this, this uh, floss and I'm pretty sure the effect on it's going to be really pretty. Um, I, I'm not going to take it off my scroll frame and show you in this in this thing, but you got it. You should should have gotten a good idea just off the video um, that I took using my phone. Anyway, um, that's about all I have for now. Um, I will post more pictures probably. After we get back, I'll have another update for you on it. I don't know how far I'll get between now and when we leave. I've got a lot of other stuff to do. So I don't know how much stitching time I'm really going to have. I think, I think I'm just going to want like just some brainless do nothing time between now and when we get on the plane. So, um, anyway, that being said, I hope you enjoy the videos and, uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks again for subscribing. Please subscribe, leave your comments below. Um, I've enjoyed hearing your comments about uh, some of my works in progress. Um, I'll have some more, <laughs> I'll probably buy some more kits or whatever I see out there. I know there's a couple of needlework shops in the area my parents live in. Um, I think the last time, last several trips ago, I wanted to look for needlework shops out there and I think the nearest one was something like 45 minutes to an hour drive away, like city streets, and I really didn't want to deal with that. And I'm not sure I'm going to drag my husband to do that either. But uh, I don't know. There may be some other ones I can try. 
So if any of you out there have any recommendations for places I can stop in the Southern California area, um, I'll be in the Norwalk, Cerritos, Artesia, Anaheim, Buena Park, <laughs> uh, Long Beach, you know, kind of, kind of that, that generalized area there. If you know of any needle workshops or um, craft stores or anything that I can stop by. My mom was really excited last year because they were in the process of building a Hobby Lobby. So she would finally be able to get go into a Hobby Lobby. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I can get Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joann's out here, and I have my local needle workshop cross my heart here too. But it would be kind of nice just to stop by and support local small businesses. So if any of you know of any local needle workshops in the areas I listed or, you know, fairly close to those areas, let me know. I'd also might be interested in finding a Hello Kitty cafe because <laughs> I like Hello Kitty um, or like rolled ice cream. Like there, I guess there's this place out there somewhere that has rolled ice cream. So we may try that. Um, we're going to try conveyor sushi because I meant to try it last last summer when I was out there and I didn't. Um, we're going to eat at Yoshinoya Beef Bowl. We're going to eat at Shakey's. We're going to eat at Del Taco <laughs> because they don't have Del Tacos here in Ohio. <laughs> So the only thing we have out here is taco hell, <laughs> um, which my husband likes to eat at, but we really love Del Taco. We could eat Del Taco probably every night, every day that we're out there. Um, I don't know. We shall see. I know they've got In-N-Out Burger and, uh, like, you know, the Wiener Schnitzel and stuff, places like that too, but, um, yeah. So we're looking at conveyor sushi and, um... Shakey's. Oh, yeah, I love Shakey's. I wish, I really wish they had Shakey's out here in Ohio. Man, their chicken and mojos and pizza. Oh, the bunch of lunch. Oh, yum. Eep. Anyway, so, um, an update after our trip. I may show you some pictures from California trip. Oh, and we actually, we may actually go to golf and stuff too. Um, golf and stuff is actually not that far from where my parents live. Um, we used to go there miniature golf, uh, playing miniature golf and going to the arcade and, you know, doing all that fun stuff back when I was growing up all the time in the summer. We'd go there a couple times a week, sometimes, you know, almost every day. Um, well, maybe not that much, but we'd go there quite a bit. And um, if any of you are Karate Kid fans, the first movie, Karate Kid 1, where Ralph Macchio and uh, Elizabeth Shue... Elizabeth Shue, I think that's her name. Um, that's where they took their date and they went to the miniature golfing place in the arcade. And um, he uh, made up with her in front of the water slide. Yes, they did have a water slide way back way back in the 80s. Um, the water slide <laughs> kind of was on, on again, off again in operation because of injuries um, and just general maintenance issues that they had with it. And they took it out, so um, Golf and Stuff no longer has um, the water slide that was in the Karate Kid. But uh, it's a fun place. You know, they have four 18-hole four gol miniature golf courses that are actually pretty fun to play. Um, my mom and I went out there and played around last year together, and um, it's fun. So if you're ever out in Southern California and looking for someplace fun, go to Golf and Stuff. Um, golf and Stuff is a lot of fun. But anyway, so I am signing off for good this time, and uh, I will probably see you guys either in California or when I get back. So take care, and leave your comments, subscribe below. I look forward to talking with more of you. Um, anyway, take care, and we'll see you. We'll see you very soon.